Hello there. In this video, we're going to cover how to use an integrated Atlassian toolchain that includes Atlassian products Confluence, Cura Software, Bitbucket, and Compass, augmented by partner products CircleCI and LaunchDarkly, to design, implement, deploy, and release CoChain. Today we're going to take a look at how we can do work in our development tools and have the work update our Jira issues uh, in our Jira board and in our releases tab. Uh, we're starting off in the releases tab in Jira Software. For anybody that doesn't know how to enable this, you can go to the left nav bar, scroll to the bottom and click Project Settings. Then you can click Features. If you scroll down in Features, you'll find Releases here. So you can just check it to have that show up. So we're going to go back to the project now and we're in the Releases tab. Let's drill into this uh, release at the top, add new features to submit image and get image label. We can close this side panel off a little bit. And if we scroll down, we're going to see we've added a bunch of Jira issues to this already. So uh, I've created some mock data just for illustrative purposes. But we've got two epics, uh, add a new feature to submit image and add a new feature to get image label. Each of those has three simple uh, Jira issues, um, design, implement, and release. If we take a look over here in this column, we can see that the release submit image um, feature Jira issue has a zero percentage feature flag set up already. Um, this feature flags in launch darkly and is basically for progressive rollout. We've done the same thing with the get image label release Jira issue. So when we're ready to release this, after we've done the design and implemented the feature, we're gonna move those two tickets to done, and then we'll slowly incrementally roll out this feature to our user base with the feature flag. To get started on this work, we're gonna start with AT456, which is the design the submit image feature. If we click on that and then open the sidebar, we can see that we've got our Jira issue here. We're gonna flip this to in progress. The first thing we're probably gonna wanna do um, is create some kind of a holding space for documentation for this project. We're going to have to go through a bunch of design meetings, meet with creative, meet with uh, our project manager, talk to our customers and figure out exactly how they want this to work and what it's going to look like. So to start with, let's jump over and create some documentation. We can go over to Confluence and I've got a document set up here at the root called release documentation. Let's create a page for um, this submit image feature. We're going to add a page tree just so we can build out the hierarchy and we'll set some settings in the page tree. And underneath this, we're going to click Create to create a project poster. And we would fill this out with all the appropriate information. Click Publish. Now, if we look back up at the image feature route, we've got our page tree showing us the project poster underneath it. And under Release Documentation, we can see both of those pages. So let's grab the Submit Image feature route and copy this URL. Now that we've got our URL copied, let's jump back over to Jira Software in the Releases tab. Let's add this to the description of our Jira Software issue. Click Save. The other place we can add this is up here in the Related Work section. We can click Add Related Work, and we can add an item, and we can paste it. And we can select a category. We'll call this Communications, and click Add. So now anybody coming to the release that wants to understand um, all the documentation and find everything related to this Submit Image feature can come here. They can also go down to the Jira issue itself and see the feature route where they can find the design docs. I duplicated that work for AT460 for the design get image label feature. So now we've got two document routes set up. Two of these Jira issues are in progress and being worked on. As we do meetings with our design team and other engineers, um, we'll add more documentation to that document route. We'll add diagrams and all kinds of stuff and we'll get those designs finished. Assuming that was done, uh, we're going to move on to a little bit of the implement part. So we know we need to implement the submit image feature. So if we click on this, let's move this to in progress. And where do we find our code? Well, we can go to the code tab in the left nav bar in Jira. And we can see that we've got submit image here. If we open this in a new tab, um, it'll bring up the associated repository. So if I click up here, I get submit image. And if I clone this down to my desktop, I can start working on it. I've already cloned this down to my workstation. So the last thing we need before we get into our coding and changes is the Jira issue ID that we're working on. So we're going to click back into Jira software. We're going to go back into releases and we're going to click on our release. And we can see that we're working on this AT457 Jira issue. We need the Jira issue ID so that we can link the work we do in our development tools, such as Git, with the Jira issue IDs we're working on. All right, let's go into submit image. And let's make a quick change to the readme. Now, before we do that, we're going to check out a new branch. If we take a look at our branches, we're currently on mainline. We want to be on a branch with the Jira issue ID in it. So we're going to do a git checkout minus B AT457. 
Then we're going to take a quick change in our README. Let's get rid of that junk. Take a look at our status. We've made a quick change. We're going to do a git add minus minus all. We're going to do a git commit minus M. And we're going to add again the Jira issue ID to the commit message so that the integration will that'll link these things up. And then finally, we're going to push to an upstream branch, AT457. Let's jump back over to Bitbucket now and take a look. So we're on AT457 branch, and we can see we've got a pipeline kicking off in CircleCI because that's the CI CD tool that's integrated with this particular repository. So if we open this in a new tab, we can see that the unit test step is succeeded, and we are currently deploying to our testing US West 1 environment. So let's head back over to Bitbucket. If we take a look on the right, we can see that CircleCI has successfully run our unit test, successfully done a deployment to one of our environments, and is currently running integration tests. So this is because we've got CircleCI and Bitbucket integrated. Um, we're going to see updates as we go, and eventually this will all turn green. That's when we know we can cut a pull request. All right, now that that's done, let's cut a pull request and kick off our production deployment. So we click pull requests in the left-hand nav bar, click create pull request, we're going to pick our source branch, we've got a couple changes. We're going to scroll down, we're going to delete this, actually we won't, just for demo purposes. We're going to create pull request, we're going to approve it, and we're going to merge. And we're going to click merge. Now if we click back over to source, we can see that we've kicked off some kind of a new pipeline. Let's open this new pipeline up and see what it's doing. This should be the production deployment pipeline because we are in the mainline branch now. So it looks like we've done some unit tests. And if we click over here, we are now deploying to our two production environments. So let's go back to Bitbucket. We can now wait for this to finish and we'll be done a deployment to our production environments. We haven't enabled it, however, because we have progressive delivery set up in our feature flags. Now that we've finished doing our production deployment, well, let's go back over to Jira software and take a look at this Jira issue, AT457. We click into it and we look on the right hand side here. There's a development panel that's been populated with a bunch of stuff. If we click, it'll drill into the development panel. You can see we have a single branch in Bitbucket. There's been a few commits. We've done our pull request. There's been some builds and there's been a number of deployments to various environments one of which failed and then succeeded again on the rerun. And when you take a look, there are no feature flags associated with this at this time. If we refresh our view of the release tab, we can see now that that issue has been flipped to done because we finished our deployments and our pipelines have run to completion. And we now have one issue that's marked as done in the progress bar. I'm going to repeat this work with the get image label uh, repository. So that's Jira issue AT461. So if we click on it, we're going to move this to in progress as well. And we're going to remember AT461 as we jump back to our terminal. This is going to be really similar to the previous example. So we're going to accelerate this a little bit. So we're on mainline. We're going to check out a new branch. Let's go back over to Bitbucket. Bitbucket uses Bitbucket pipelines to run the CICD instead of CircleCI. So if we click into the pipelines on the left, we can click into AT461, and we can see that it's running. As we can see, our development pipeline ran successfully. So now we're going to cut a pull request and execute our production deployment pipeline. Now that our production deployment is finished, let's jump over to Jira software and take a look at our Jira issues and see the updates that have been pushed to them automatically by the integration. So back in the releases tab in our release, if we take a look at this AT457, which was the work we did on submit image, we can see the development panel on the right is now populated with a bunch of stuff. Let's click in there. We can see we made a single branch. If we open this in a new tab, this will take us to the Bitbucket branch. We can see we've got some commits that have been made. We have our pull request. We've got some builds that were done and we've got deployments. If we take a look at the get image label Jira, AT461, we can see the development panel has also been updated with all the work we've done against this Jira issue. 
So in this case, again, another branch, AT461, two commits, our pull request, we've got a build, and we've got some deployments. Let's go back to our release by closing this, closing this tab, and clicking over to our release tab. So now what we want to do, that we've got our development finished, is do our deployments. So we're going to take a whack at AT459, which is the release uh, submit image feature. So if we click on this, we're going to flip it to in progress. And to release, we're going to hit our feature flag tool. So we can click on this handy little feature flag icon and it'll pop us open um, the development panel for this particular Jira issue. And we can see that we've got a feature flag associated with this. Let's open this in a new tab. And this takes us directly to, in this case, our integrated launch darkly feature flag tool. And if we scroll down, we're going to bump this up to a 10% deployment. We're going to click review and save. We're going to click save changes. And then if we jump back to our release board, we close this and we refresh. We can now see that this flag has been switched to 10% and we know that 10% of our user base is getting hit or has been able to hit this new feature that we've rolled out. I'm going to repeat this process for both of these flags and we can slowly work our way from 10% to 100% using progressive rollout. So after a little bit of work, we've uh, completely rolled out our submit image feature to 100%. Now we've moved our AT312 uh, Epic About Submit Image feature to done. We can see that we're only at 30% um, release for the Get Image Label feature. So in a little while, we're going to roll this up to 100% and then we'll be able to flip our AT313 to done as well. Looking at the status bar here, we can see that six of these are now done and two of them are in progress. So anybody that comes to this page can at a glance understand the progress that we've got on all of the work that's in this release. They can see that we've released this particular feature at 100% and that there's one feature that's 30% rolled out, all at a glance. Now that all the work in our release is done, we're going to take a quick trip over to Compass, take a look at how some of these integrations are pushing data to Compass. So if we click into Compass, we can see we have a list of components. We're going to open Submit Image Component up. From inside the Submit Image Component, we're going to go over to the Activity Feed. And if we scroll back a little ways, we can see that we've had a number of deployments that have been done. This data was automatically populated by our CICD tools as the work was completed. All right, thank you for watching this video about using an integrated Atlassian toolchain to release code changes. You can find more videos like this in the Developer's Edge video series on the Atlassian YouTube channel.